Let's continue looking at the topic, algebra. Last time we looked at translating from worded expressions to algebraic expressions, where I gave you some activities and you were to mark yourself. I hope that you got full marks or you did it again and got full marks, all right? Now this time we look at something a little bit different, so let's see. We're going to evaluate expressions involving binary operations, other than the four basic operations. Now what that means, binary operation, binary means between two, between two variables or two symbols, or between two at a time. The four basic operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. But we're introducing new, when we, we look at this type of question, we, we're introducing new symbols. You know that the symbol generally used for addition is this, for subtraction, this, multiplication, and division. We come up with new symbols. In this case, I use a, the asterisk. Sometimes other symbols might be used like this. All right, or it could be something like this, something new. Now, here, I want to see what you can do with this question. Are you able to, do you think you're able to do this? What I want you to do is to pause the video and work out A, B, and C. Then we'll come back. So go ahead and pause. All right. So you paused the video and you worked out all three or you attempted to work out all three. All right. Did you make an attempt at all three? Let's see what they work, what they turn out to be. X star Y or asterisk. X asterisk Y is the same as X squared plus 2XY. What is 5 asterisk 6? So let's look at part A. Here, 5 asterisk 6 means wherever you see x, you put 5 because it says here x first, so it's x, and then y second. Well, this is also x, then y in the second place, you put it for y. So you have to be careful about the position that these things take. So, x squared, x first, so you start with x squared, 5 first, so you start with 5 squared, plus, you see the plus here, 2 times, I didn't bother to put a multiplication sign here because it's between number and letter, but it's going to be number and number now, so you have to put it, 2 times x, x means the first number you see. 5 is the first number that you see here, looking from left to right. It's 5, so it's 2 times 5, times the y. Notice y is here, and y is at the end. Follow the pattern. 6 is here, at the end over here, so 6 must be here, times 6. So what you have is 5 squared is 25 plus 2, 5, 10, 10, 6, 60. So it's 25 plus 60. 25 plus 60 is what? 85. So it's 85. Okay? So it's a matter of following the pattern. X first, you put X squared plus 2 times X. Whatever that number is used to represent X. Let's look at part B. 6 tar 6 asterisk 5 a was 5 asterisk 6 no it's 6 asterisk 5 6 is first in the same position as x so whatever you do with x over here you're going to do with 6 so it's 6 squared plus the 2 times x in the same position x is in this position is 2x 16 in this position is going to be 2 6 2 by 6 
times y. y and 5 are in the same position. So y is what you multiply by x here. 5 is what you multiply by the 6. So it's 5 that comes at the end. y goes at the end of this part. 5 comes at the end of this part. You follow the same pattern. So it's 6 squared. 6, is what? 6 squared is 36 plus 2 times 6 is 12. 12 times 5 is 60. 36 plus 60, which is 96. Alright, so you get a different answer. 5 star 6 and 6 star 5. You yield different things. Alright? So, let's look at part C now. We're going to have to erase these to get some space. Part C. Three star, two star, four. You do what is in the bracket first. So you're going to have two star, four. I said asterisk first and star is the same thing. All right. Two star, four is equal to x and 2 are in the same position x looking from left to right x is at the front 2 is at the front so the 2 is going to be whatever happens to the x on the right is going to happen to the 2 so it's 2 squared plus 2 times x which is 2 times then the y y comes second on the left and it's on the right on the right so 4 comes second on the right whatever happened to y up here same thing will happen to 4 because 4 takes the position of y it's like x star y right so 4 takes the position of y y is here so 4 must be here so what you have is 2 2 is 4 plus 2 2 is 4 4 4 is 16 when you multiply out these you get 16 so 16 plus 4 is 20. All right. Now let's go back to this. What happened in this bracket amounts to 20. You see that? 2 star 4 was 20. So 3 star 2 star 4 is the same as 3 star 20. Okay. So notice now you have the 3 and x are in the same position the 20 and the y are in the same position so what happens to the 3 is the same thing that will happen to the x so we have 3 squared right so on the right hand side up here 3 will come here and it will come here as well so what you're going to have is 3 squared plus 2 times 3 and then times what you have happened to the y since y was in this position and it ends up here 20 is in this position and it will end up just like the y so we have 2 by 3, 2 by x, 2 by 3 by y, which is by 20. You see that? So, you have 3 squared, which is 9, plus 2 by 6, 12. 12 by 20, you know, 12 by 2 is 24, then you add the 0, is 240. So, what you have is... 240 plus 9 which is 249 all right so you have 249 so this last one was a bit more complicated so let's finish off by looking back at what we did let's erase all of these arrows and so on and so forth let's just review part a i'm going to review part a Let's get rid of these lines and so on. So, 
So basically, what you have happen is this. You have x and 5 in the same position. You have 6 and y in the same position. Now, what is this going to be? The x comes over here as x squared. So the 5 will come over here as 5 squared. Then you have the plus. Bring down the plus. The 2. So the plus comes here. The 2 comes here. 2 times x. The, whatever happened to the x here will happen down here. But instead of x, it's 5. So it is really x that will be here. But over here, it is 5 that will be here. So you follow the same pattern, right? So what you have is 5 times what? You have the y over here coming at the end of this part of the expression. So that will that same thing will happen to the 6. The 6 will come over here at the end. Alright? So what you're going to have is 6. So Work this out now. 5 squared is 25. So remember, this was this. You bring down the x squared part, the plus sign, the 2, the x, and the y. So you follow the same pattern as what happens up here. Then you work them out one by one. 5 squared is 25 plus. 2 times 5 is 10, 10 times 6 is 60. So you put them all together and say 60 plus 25 is 85. Alright? So that's how you deal with these new binary operations. Alright? You may see questions like these in your final exam as well. Alright? So, any questions about it, any confusion or so, just make a comment and I'll respond to your comments. So, I'll see you in the next video.